Entry level gaming laptops have a tradition of losing something important to bring out some key feature to make the laptop highlight. Well, to drop break the custom, Asus has underwent a whole new exercise of rebranding its lineup and brought us Asus TUF or Tough Gaming FX504 laptop and here we are reviewing it. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing first, the design. The tough gaming FX504 sounds tough, but it's not actually tough. It just looks visually tough. The black hunk of plastics with fox aluminium brushing and red painting in an angular line patterns makes the laptop look modern. And thanks to the lit up ASUS logo at the back, the FX504 looks gaming ready. There is also a small cutout at the lid, which lets you see the status lights even when the laptop lid is closed which is pretty neat. The port selection on this laptop is pretty good too. The right hand side just has Kingston lock slot. Coming to the left, there are two USB 3.1 ports and one USB 2.0 port, an HDMI port, Ethernet, power and 3.5mm standard audio jack. No clue why Asus went with all left hand side ports and secondly, there's a good amount of void space inside but Asus couldn't manage to put out SD card slot which is kind of important for a creative person. But all I could say is that this could be a cost cutting measure from Asus but it is kind of debatable. Well the FX504 comes with 15.6 inch 1080p TN panel display. No wonder I found it to be dim and lifeless surrounded by a chunky bezel which again hits sometimes while consuming content. But it's 120Hz display is what kept me going. Overall, it's kinda okayish, but I'm not very happy with the display. Though the display let me down, but the keyboard compensated that with a fairly huge key size and a key travel of 1.4mm which was pleasant enough to play or type in it. The keyboard has numpad and is backlit, but unlike ROGs, it only lit up in red with three different levels of brightness. The trackpad on the other side acts pretty good with gestures and accuracies on point thanks to Microsoft's Windows Precision drivers. On the flip side though, the touchpad kind of felt cheap. Speaking of cheap, the 720p webcam on the FX504 is no fall short in terms of cheap video quality, but it somehow gets the work done. But then again, to compensate the webcam quality, the speakers were good with loud and clear sound with an ample amount of bass and sweet mixture of vocals. The performance of the machine is great in all aspects, be it gaming or content creation. Thanks to the hexa-core i7-8750H CPU coupled with 8 gigs of RAM and GTX 1050 Ti GPU, I could easily run Adobe's Premiere Pro, After Effects, Lightroom and Chrome with 10 tabs open without any hiccup. Although Chrome kinda hits sometimes, but it has its own resource management issue which is pretty common among all the laptops. The addition of 120GB SSD along with 1TB SSHD helps to boot the machine faster but I didn't find it to be significantly fast but gives out a, undoubtedly a better experience which is evident in daily usage. The gaming on this machine is great too thanks to the GTX 1050 Ti GPU which again won't tear through intensive games. The machine could easily render games at good frames per second and 120Hz display is kinda cherry on the top. I know along with the gaming comes the heat dissipation goals, well ASUS manages to use the white space pretty well by adding cooling fans with two heat pipes, one of which is slightly wider and shared between both the devices. So what about the battery life? Well in our testing, FX504 has endured 4 hours and 15 minutes with 70-80% to 80 of brightness which is pretty good considering it's a gaming laptop. Well with power pack internals and 120Hz display, that ASUS TUF Gaming FX504 is a great gaming laptop for the price you're paying. At the end of the day, the FX504 offers a great value for money, which let alone will be convincing enough for most of the gamers out there. The ASUS TUF Gaming FX504 is priced at 85,900 as of now on Amazon.in. The direct link to buy this is in the description below. Definitely check out if you're going for one. Well, if you want an in-depth review of this laptop, it's right on our blog, link in the description and card above. Definitely check out if you are into this laptop or going to buy one. So what do you guys think about this laptop? Do you have any query related to this one? Definitely let me know in the comment section below. That's it with this review. Hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. And if you did, you know what to do. Like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more such videos. And do follow us on all social media links again in the description below. And has been scrolling, of course, you might have noticed it. 
Until the next one, this has been Atish from Tech Dipper signing off. Thanks for watching.